I can't count the number of times I've been asked, how do I get the grass out of my beds? Well, their answer is, you can't. It's nearly impossible. You just have to dig up the whole mess and start over. So we're gonna show you how to prevent that from happening. And Jennifer is off duty today. I think she had a premonition that something was afoot, but Jonathan has stepped in to give us a hand. Grass can grow over or under any barrier you devise, but it can't grow off a cliff. All these borders are edged in the method they use in England and Australia. The clean cut creates a mini cliff that grass can't compromise. All you need is a flat spade and a board. Now, I used to use stakes and strings, but you get a much more even, clean line when you use a board. And as you make your cuts, it helps if you have someone with heft to help prevent the board from moving. Hey, I can hear you, you know. All right, now you can be the heft, Rob. Cut straight down or even angle back a bit. Go down to a depth of six inches or so. You'll also want to cut back or trim any plants that are gonna spill into your gutter. Like this thyme is a little bit too aggressive. So we're just gonna trim it back too and I'm just eyeballing this based on the board. Move your head. <laughs> Next, you want to scoop out the trimmings and compost them. Use the serrated edge of a Japanese fisherman's knife to create a smooth, flat edge to the gutter. Just scrape it along the cut line. We've still got lots more to do, but we've got a big announcement. Bits and bobs, I hope it's that you got decent ice cream. I know I said no more tours, dun dun da da, but we're starting Proctor's Garden open Sundays, every Sunday from eight until noon. Now you don't need a ticket, but a suggested donation of $10 will benefit the Dumb Friends League. Just show up. Rob's address will be on 9news.com. And as for Rob saying no more tours, well, Cher said the same thing. A good thing never gets old. <laughs>